gave you some stories of people, you know, Zach Bush was saying that one in two people is going to get cancer in their lifetime, sure. which is just absolutely crazy. He's saying we've got 60 to 70 years of topsoil left, you know. So these mm. things are real red flags out there. But maybe well, give are. us a bit of a, a story yeah, you know, of people. <laughs> you know, there's an old Chinese saying that says, um, if you keep going the way you're going, you're going to end up where you're headed. And, and, and these trajectories are not good. Uh, and, and and I mean, in the U.S. now, for the first time, life expectancy is dropping. The actual uh, actuarials for life expectancy are dropping. Um, so, uh, so uh, one of one of the best uh, people I know that has a, a wonderful story mm. like this is uh, my co-author of the book Beyond Labels, Dr. Yeah. Cena McCullough. So here's a here's a you know a Ph.D. Um, with a, with a uh, an emphasis in nutrition. Okay, college. And, um, and, and she gets a, a, an autoimmune disease, you know, early in her, you know, in her early 20s. And uh, by the time she was 31, um, they were planning her funeral. They thought she was going to die. She, she couldn't get off the floor. She, she had everything wrong with, with her that you can imagine. And no doctors could help her. She went, you know, everything that you can imagine. And finally, uh, her husband said, um, you know, you have to quit blaming this on somebody else. You, you have you have to decide. You decide have to decide what you're going to do about it. And so she completely uh, flipped her paradigm and said, "It's not up to the doctors. It's up to me." And she started taking what she knew in her PhD in nutrition and turning it on its head. And um, and within uh, you know within three years, uh, she was. From planning her funeral to uh, within five years, she was uh, pregnant with another child, wow. and is just a bubbly, vivacious, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, lady today, and and um, and she did it through um, through first of all realizing that her health was her responsibility. It's not it's it's not the minister of health, it's not the medical profession, it's not the doctor. Um, and and I, I don't I don't want to I don't want to you know talk down doctors. Look, if I cut my arm off, I want I want a good trauma doctor to you know to, to deal with that. But Western modern medicine is not good at non-infectious chronic things, cancer, Alzheimer's, yeah. diabetes, yeah. the chronic stuff. Yeah, the, the chronic stuff. So here in in the in in the rich countries. We've exchanged the infectious diseases like, you know, typhus and, and uh, um, you know, those kinds of things. We've exchanged those for the non-infectious. And, um, and, and our non-infectious is, 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 is primarily lifestyle, yeah. lifestyle stuff. And uh, so she started, you know, she started, she quit going to the grocery store. Um, in, in that journey early on, you know, we mm -hmm. were not friends. She, in her research, she found us. So she started finding, well, where's the good food? Where's the good food? And um, so, you know, she started eating our, our food. She started, um, you know, reducing her grain consumption, um, uh, you know, different things. But anyway, uh, she, did, she did cure herself. And um, I, I deal with a lot of uh, health coaches around the country. Uh, health coaches, again, they're having amazing, amazing success. Um, uh, going at it from a, I, I, I just can't emphasize this enough. At the first step is, is I'm not going to blame somebody else, yeah. or or um, assume that somebody else has responsibility. Yeah. I'm going to take that accountability myself. Yes, yeah, my I'm exercise, my that's relationships. Right. That's right. You know, my family, that's right. that's my right. movement, just everything. My food. Yeah. I'm going to take accountability. Even even those people, even those people that I. Hate as too strong a word, but but you know, the, uh, they, you know, even those people, you can't control what yeah, they do. Exactly. You can't control what they say. Yeah. You know, maybe they're in their family. Yeah. Maybe it's a coworker. Maybe it's you know whatever maybe it is. Eating McDonald's all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But 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 you can't control yeah. them, yeah. but you can control your response Correct. to them. Yeah. And uh, and and that's where I think this this mm. this freeing up. Um, and you've got.